Welcome to Row64's Data Science Recipes. Data Science Recipes are designed to save data scientists and business analysts time and energy when working with data frames. For non-Python and novice coders, recipes are a way for you to implement no-code data science solutions. You'll be able to quickly summarize and manipulate data as well as clean it up. You can perform other common data science tasks without learning any code whatsoever. However, if you do want to learn Python, you'll be able to use Row64's recipes to quickly learn new skills because you'll be able to review the code and the underlying data. For experienced Python users, recipes are pre-built data science coding libraries which generate lines upon lines of code quickly which can then be customized. You'll also be able to view your changes in real time without having to print to the console and as a result do more work in less time. So how do I use the recipes? Super simple. Load row 64, and when you have data, uh, you can actually, when it's inside your data frame, you can quickly just click on data science recipes right here inside the data frame tab and uh, quickly review all the various uh, things that we have actually in here. But um, it's very, very powerful because it's very intuitive and very easy to work with. As you can see here, we actually have currently over 250 different uh, types of data science recipes that all generate um, Python code. And the Python code itself can be easily manipulated to work in your data and actually manipulated for your own workflow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you an example of the workflow that would occur. Um, right now we have an empty data frame. So let's just imagine that we had some data in here. Uh, if you had some data in here, it'd be very easy to, maybe you wanted to do a linear regression, right? You can just click on insert. And what you'll see here is that uh, the syntax for linear regression is immediately implemented into the formula area. What that does is it quickly writes code and you can see here as I'm, it, it, let's say, say for example I wanted to do time series here, let's get rid of linear, uh, linear regression. You can quickly see that it's basically building out um, all the Python for you without any sort of uh, effort whatsoever and as you click, look, I mean just you could, you'd be able to see all of these various little, look, it's just stacking code upon code upon code. And that's just basically showing how fast and how versatile, how easy it is to implement uh, Python code into the IDE. You could also type directly in here, uh, Python code, if you really wanted to. But um, more importantly, let's go ahead and show you um, on the linear regression here as an example, what this syntax means. Like when you're doing a linear regression, what are you trying to do, right? You're trying to explain the relationship between two variables, an X and a Y, right? But you don't necessarily have any data here, so you need to learn once what, what to pass in as arguments, right? And the best way to do that is actually to go over and click on an example. When you click on example here, what's going to happen is that row 64 is going to open up a brand new data frame. It's going to show you sample data. It's going to show you here, um, based off of the formula tab, our formula uh, box here, where we type in things, formula IDE. We are loading uh, a CSV that uh, has to do with miles per gallon, and it gives us all these various uh, uh, variables or column, columns right, of information. And what we're doing here is we're passing in uh, C, which is our x-axis, because you can see here, C, it makes sense, C is right here. And uh, this, which is displacement in this situation, and E, which is the weight of the vehicle. So we're showing the relationship between displacement and weight. Let's say, for example, we wanted to quickly change that and show the uh, relationship between weight and miles per gallon, for example. You just quickly change. Look at this. You just quickly change this around. You can see that the formula, formula up on top is changing. But more importantly, if we were to look at the Python code, look, check this out. As you're shifting things around, it automatically ups updates the Python code for you. And if you were well versed in Python, maybe perhaps you wanted to do something else, you could actually jump right in here and type things out. But let's just go ahead and take a look uh, specifically at what we would expect. Uh, obviously this is for a car or a vehicle and the weight limit is uh, probably in pounds, but uh, you would expect that as weight increases, uh, as weight increases that miles per gallon would go down. All you would need to do is go ahead and hit run here and let's see what happens. Look at that. It, it, it has confirmed our thought process, right? It's confirmed what we all we knew all along was that as weight increases or goes up this way, so decreases the uh, miles per gallon. 
So this is just a simple way and very powerful and easy way to use uh, row 64 to generate Python code, but also do wonderful analyses. Obviously, I'm just showing you right now one aspect, which is this charting linear regression, but imagine all the other various tools if you needed to investigate data as an example, just to see what you have. If you wanted to uh, transform your data and group by certain time functions, right? You could quickly do all of this. You could even merge data frames very, very quickly uh, without any sort of coding. As an example, take a look at this right here. If we had two, if for example, we had two data frames, right? Which we do here, but let's just go ahead and see what would happen if we wanted to join them. Take a look at this. It's so easy. You just point, I want to join this data frame to this data frame, and you delineate what type of join you want to do. And then from there, look, take a look. You could quickly say you want to do this data frame based on what column. What's what's my key? My key is A. My uh, and then my output is uh, and my other key is on this other data frame. And when you do that, it will merge the the join the two data tables together without any sort of code. And you can see here, take a look at this. It's doing all of the code for you immediately without having to for, without you having to do any of it yourself. And that'll just save you so much time so much energy and allow you to do a lot more work a lot faster and without any sort of data uh, size limitation you can work with millions of rows all the way up to you know down to like 50,000 rows if you want to something small right so I hope you found this useful thanks so much for joining me today and I hope that you join me for other tutorials where I show you how you can save tons of time tons of energy using row 64 thanks again Visit us at row64.com and make sure that you register for our forums where you can ask questions, request new features, report bugs, and talk to us as well as engage in our active community. We really thank you for joining us today and welcome to the future of data science.